Hi, I'm Kenji, and today we are going to be creating a brush in Photoshop with your logo. Let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is you want to open up Photoshop. Then you want to click the Create New button. After that, you want to create a project that is 1920 by 1080 resolution. You can create a project with a higher resolution, but the problem is that you cannot define a new brush preset from those higher resolution files. After you have opened your project, the next thing that you want to do is you want to pull your signature into your project. The picture that I have with my logo is this one over here. It is a black signature on a white background. I will drag that onto my project and click the little check mark. After that, I will merge down the layer. And then after that, I will go to the edit menu, go down to define brush preset. I will give my brush a new name. I'm calling it my logo. And there you go. You can see down in the brushes menu that my new brush is right there. When you are ready to use your new logo brush, what you can do is you can open up a new project. You can create a gorgeous piece of artwork like I am doing right now. And once you are ready to stamp your logo, you can select your logo brush and you can change the size of the logo to be any size you want. Sometimes you need a smaller logo if you have a lower resolution file. And sometimes you need a larger logo if you have a very high resolution file. Something that I like to do is use contracting colors when I'm trying to choose a color for my logo. This way it stands out more inside the image. Now the next thing that you want to do is you want to back up this brush in case you need to reload Photoshop or use this brush on another instance of Photoshop on another computer. So what you can do is you can click on your brush and then click on the hamburger menu in the brushes window. Go down to export selected brushes and a dialog box will open. You can then select a name for your brush. I'm calling it my logo. and then click Save. And at that point, that brush is ready to be imported into any instance of Photoshop that you uploaded. I hope you enjoy this and this tutorial has been helpful for you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, take care.